How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another tank mechanic simulator video. So if you guys haven't seen the very first video we did, I would highly recommend going and checking that out first. Uh, I figured out a little bit of the ropes, you know, figured out a little bit of some stuff. We went and dug up a tank out in the middle of a field. Uh, it's right here in front. Actually, no, the, our tank is outside, but this thing we're working on. But we dug up a, uh, a panther, I think it was, a German uh, tank. We found some relics while we were down there, so... We're not relaxed antiques. Uh, so today we're gonna be finishing, or we're gonna start working on this. This has a ton. I might actually, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this, but uh, let's see. Yeah, tank status analysis. So overall tank assembly. So this thing's pretty much assembled almost completely, but everything around it. So whole. Uh, all the exterior wheels, engine, everything is at like 11 or to 12 percent, which is pretty terrible. This is a super hard job, according to the email list. Um, so we have <clears throat> need help. Uh, it's gonna pay me 50,000, so it'll multiply our money by five, pretty much. Uh, good amount of reputation out of it, uh, but it looks like I just need to literally tear this whole thing apart and then repair. So I'm hoping it'll be as simple as just repairing everything. We don't need to buy anything. Um, so I'm going to start with, let me pull the turret off. All right. So we got the turret off. Ooh, we can check out the inside now, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. We got ammo boxes everywhere. Spots. Yeah. This whole thing is just metal, I guess. So it's just rust absolutely everywhere. Um, so what am I? I'm in ammunition box. Whole interior condition. So let's start with the interior condition, you know? Uh, what's that? Is this is this whole is this whole interior? Oh, oh, new email. Let me go check that real quick. What you oh it's short now. What you saying on here, email? Shopping time. Nice job. I have another tank needs to be assembled. Uh can you buy the missing parts of the other thing? I'm not sure I can assemble them. Uh, we'll accept the order. <clears throat> Even though we accepted it, though. There's not going to be work on it yet. So I'm going to go back to the interior here. Pull out this. This suspension cover. Okay, okay. Box one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, pull out our seats. Machine gun ammo. Driver's seat, front mounts. Uh, now we'll start working into the back here. Probably, can we just take the entire, okay. I'm not sure what we can do for this motor here, but. Uh, disassemble. Some of the, oh, we need to, okay, okay. Let me get the hatch and everything out of the way here, and then pop the motor out. Oh, okay, okay. So looks like this isn't too intense. <clears throat> yeah, it's not too bad actually. This is unless that's just completely blocked, but you just pop all this stuff off of here, you know? Just just click one, get the motor all torn down. I'm not really sure uh what happens here. It looks pretty simple though. Off it. Oh, we can get that off. Then we get out the manifold. And then yeah. Now we just got a uh We just kinda like a just 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 a just a full rust block. Alright. Uh I need to get rid of that red. What is it? G to get H to get rid of it? There's some button that gets rid of it. Why is everything marked red? Huh? Let's see, T. No, not tablets. Okay, I'm not sure why everything's marked red, but it's okay. Maybe it was like overview or. Oh, that's flashlight. Hey, storage panel. We can check out all this. Oh, wait. So, storage panel. Can we outsource all repairs? Select all. Outsource repairs. Paint. Okay. Select all. 
Oh, it's all being repaired right now. Okay, sweet. Okay, so maybe this is that simple. Maybe this is as simple as tearing the entire thing down and uh, repairing it. Generator, air filter. It's kind of cool, though. I get to see more how tanks back then worked. I don't know how they work at all. Um, so I'm super interested. So, oh, so this is how the drive was done. Okay. So those put the power to the wheels. So it's a rear wheel drive, but it's technically just not because it has all of the other things with it. All the tracks. Jeez, what am I even saying? Well, there's the interior gone. There's the motor gone. Uh, we'll pop off all these outside fuel tank. Oh, transmission hatch gone. Okay, I guess it's a lot easier just to click on stuff. Okay, there's that gun. Don't know how we can take the tranny out. The transmission gearbox. Uh, it's on zero. Pop these out. Fuel tank's gone. Uh, what's holding this on? Oh, tow ropes. Oh, another tow rope. Uh, this side looks pretty good. We're gonna go over here. Start dropping off some of this stuff. Uh, looks like we got a saw. I no idea what that would be for. Side mud guard. You know what? This is actually helping. Disassembling each individual piece like this. Uh, I don't know if there's like a disassemble all button or something like that. That'd be pretty neat if there was. But doing it this way actually makes it so you kind of learn each part that you need. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I, can I pull that out now? Oh, that's blocked by something. What is that blocked by? That's blocked by that. And then that pin. Is blocked by something else. Not. Oh, wait, maybe bracket front track. Let me go to the rear here. See if there's something back here I can do to get this out. The check belt. No. Nope. Let's hop on over to the other side, actually. Yeah, here we are. Nope, this is the same side. <laughs> there we go. Not sure if there's a special way to disassemble these belts or not. Uh, looks like I will find out if there is. Okay, that one popped off. So you just right click to disassemble these completely. And then it doesn't let you on that one. Some of these look like they're good. Mm, okay, maybe there's a slower one I got to start with then. Uh, and this can't be disassembled because that is having an issue. So back over to this side. That one I can't take off, can't take off, can't take off. Yeah, no, uh, give me the lamp. Toggle. Yeah, there we go. Now we can start seeing some stuff. What else do we got to take off here? I got, I got to get the tracks off. Wait, I forgot we can go underneath. Ooh. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? Let me get up. Get up in here. Uh, I saw suspension there. Uh, third wheel suspension, suspension, track belt, da, 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 drive. Okay. All right, I can't see anything else to take apart, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Let me go back to this. I'm going to select all. Outsource repairs. Cancel. Let me deselect the stuff really quick. I'm not sure if, since I hit select all, if it'll actually take the good stuff and try and fix it, or if it'll just take the bad stuff. But I'm going to go through really quick and check everything off just to make sure uh, I don't have any issues here. Because that was like 5,000. That was a lot. And I only have 7,500, so I'm a little worried. All right. Nope, it only does the stuff that needs to be repaired. Okay. Um, so that just put that back in. Hmm. I'm pretty sure buying a whole new engine will be not realistic of upgrade. And we got anything to upgrade. Available reputation. 
Uh, tools. Oh, look at that. We can get a tablet now. Unlocked. And we realize you to merge two tools in the one. Cutting off elements of the rusted bolts. Okay, so we have rusted bolts. Now I know how to do that. And grinding the rust off elements. That could be very useful. Okay, so tools, business, and passive. Uh, screwing bolts, 25% faster. All outsource repairs are done quicker with lower cost, 25%. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure I have 130 reputation, so I can buy quite a bit here. There's the drone. Uh, pistol wrench allows you to assemble some element. Screws fast allows unscrewing of rusted bolts. Ooh, okay, okay. I, I want to stick, I want to have the, uh, the grind wheel first. Let's stick to that. Quad allows even faster and more agile movement in the extraction mission. That's okay. Parking level one shows more tank slots in your warehouse. Let's check that out. This drive, you allows you to take your tanks test drive on a special ops, of course. So let's buy that. That sounds pretty sick. Uh, tank parking level two. Two more tank slots. We're good with that. We don't need that. Allows you to paint your tank. Yes. Museum level one lets you to show your tanks to the public. This museum has slot for four tanks. I'm okay with that right now. Uh, crafting parts gained increased. Gra crafting parts gained increased by 25%. Uh, gain more money increased by 15. All tools efficiency increased by 10. Let's, let's increase that reputation gain because you know. Yeah, get more money. And that, okay, wow, that was a loss. Now we can access the tablet. That's pretty nice. Don't need to go over there anymore. Take extraction opportunity. Hey there, we know where a hidden tank is. We won't make it through. We won't make it though. Can you help us? I hope this doesn't leave. I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to come back to it. Uh, I hope it doesn't leave me and I can still, you know, get back to it. Uh, oh, is this the paint shop here? Oh. <gasps> Dude, that's awesome. Yes. So I think I just go into here and I hit paint. Okay, so yeah, move a tank in here to paint. All right, that's good. I don't need to do that right now. Uh, there's our turret. So there's our tools. That, that, that. Okay, so the tools. I haven't really done the tools much. So rust removal, sandblaster, hammer, angle grinder, and paint gun. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do... Rust removal. Hey, look at that. Okay, so that's how you... So that's how you return... Okay, let me drop that right there. Oh, okay, okay. I'm figuring out some stuff here. Uh, oh, we could... Can we just do a sandblaster in here? Whoa, okay, okay. So there's still a little bit of rust, it looks like. Can I even mess with that, or is that just there? I think that's just there. Uh, what do we got next here? Angle grinder, <clears throat> hammer. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I don't think there's anything... Okay, so I think the angle grinder is meant to cut. Uh, broken bolts. So, like, let me take this. Okay, well, I tried to angle grind that, and I don't think, I don't think it worked. H for control, so just X toggle grinding mode. Cutting mode. Gr cutting mode. Grinding mode. Oh, okay, so that can remove rust. Hmm, okay. So if I do more grinding, I can remove more rust here. Then we go into cutting mode. Oh my gosh, so that's how it works. So the red ones are ones that are bad and I gotta cut them off. So, cut that off. There's one. I don't know if this one. Okay, let me drop this. Let me see if I can drop this off now. 
Uh, which one is it? Okay, so that popped it out. Nice. Okay, so that one's stuck on. Okay, I'm starting to see how this works. So this takes a lot more time than usual. At least you can... Oh, give me that back. At least you can tell what it is by it being green. Cut that out. Wait, did I just accidentally ruin all those? I have a feeling I just ruined all those. Uh, not sure. Okay, so let's... So that's where suspension's at. Okay. So drop all this out. Get all of our springs. So that's where some stuck screws are. Okay. Hop out of this. Grab this. Uh, I think we're going to want to go into grinding mode. I don't know if grinding mode will work. Yeah, it's got to be cutting mode. Okay. Oh, wait. We got two stuck ones on here. So those are gone. That one's stuck. Cut that off. Okay. Uh, oh, so this one comes off pretty nicely. I was going to say, is the rest going to come off? Uh oh, I think we might have stuck one on there actually. Nope, it's coming off. Okay. Oof. So it looks like I'll be able to salvage a good majority of this stuff. But I think I'll have to move this outside, actually. Um What's this at? What's the what's mode am I? I wish it would tell me what mode I'm in a lot easier. There we go. Alright. Drop that. Let's go grab our sandblaster uh, or rust remover. Whole exterior condition. Maybe I need to sandblast it. There we go. So the condition is just generally better once you do that, I guess. Inside looks pretty good. Getting that shut off. Okay, bracket's gone. I should be able to drop off the remaining. Yeah. So note to self, you can, if you just, if I just was letting the, uh... Those are stuck. If I just let the cutting wheel go at it, I guess, it'll just absolutely decimate everything it touches so i gotta be careful on that right i think so okay um okay so that's stuck uh what about this one that's one stuck there i hope i really want to save this piece and just get like a new bolt but i don't know maybe getting a new bolt doesn't matter maybe you still have to take everything off so that's two stuck. That's two stuck. Okay. All right, back to the grinding wheel, I guess. Uh, do cutting mode. So I guess I just hold it on the the piece, and the entire piece just falls off, right? Yep. Kind of sucks that you lose the whole piece, but that's okay. Okay. There we go. And now I can pop out all of our bump springs. And then after that, I think we all have a empty body. Uh, oh, I gotta cut this one off too. Dang it.
Okay, so tank repairs, sandaling. Okay, so. Ooh, let me hop up there. Let me get up in there. Make sure it's all cleared out. Everything except for the gearbox. Maybe I can repair the gearbox. Just hitting it with one of this. Okay. Uh, trying to think how. Oh, uh, how you even repair this? So. Reset tools, reset position, browse, search. Okay, so if I go over to his right click, opens menu with tank modules, browse, search, sell. Let's take status, examine, move tank back, assembly mode. Okay, we don't need to do assembly, disassembly. Select engine opens. Oh, where did the engine go? Oh, it put it back in. Okay. So I think that engine was at zero though, so I th or pretty close to zero, right? Uh, engine. So it looks like the engine itself is fine. The gearbox itself is fine. Okay, so yeah, okay. So you gotta add the parts back to the piece and that's what makes it uh, back up to what it needs to be. Okay, okay, I see. Um, module engine. So it should pull the engine, right? Yes. Right click assembly. And then we get to put on all the parts we have. Cancel. Uh, okay. So I guess we'll put on all the parts that we managed to save. And then on, once we finish getting all these parts on, I'll see what we are missing here. Because I think we're missing like the motor shield. Sell parts. Okay, buy them from the shop or parts. Buy them to our craft using crafting table and component compatible parts first. Okay. Uh, we got the gear cover, fuel filters. I think we got. I know we took apart the top, so it should be returned to us. So that part we don't have. Starter we have. We don't have the motor shield. I think mostly everything else. So engine 77% condition. I think we needed a 93 total to pass. Uh, phew, trying to think what I want to do next. Like, I don't really know. There's a lot to do. A lot to, a lot to take in. Let me go to the... Yeah, let me go in here. A couple air filters. Yeah, this looks like a lot of stuff to repair. Um, so I'll just select all. Can I outsource it? I don't have enough money. Okay. Um, let's see. Tank part shop. Bank. I can take out a loan. Okay. That's what I need. Uh, <clears throat> let's take out 12,000. What are we getting in the mail here? Tank extraction, repair contract, need some help with renovation. A, a Sherman, that's dope. Okay, M62, repair, perishing in need of renovation. What was that? Required repairs, very high. 58 grand to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just work on what we got now. I'm trying to renovate this whole thing here. Outsource, continue. Okay. Uh. Ch -ch -ch I'm gonna sandblast that really quick, actually. Oh, no, don't drop it. Okay, so gearbox finished. All right, that's what you wanna see. All right, fuel filter, engine finished. Okay, uh, hole. Okay, I think I need to paint the hole then. If it's the hole doesn't say finish, so I would assume we need to paint. Okay, so right click module, select current module, no assembly interior. Get inside. Oh, yeah, you can get inside. Okay, tank. Examine, move tank, paint room. So I think that moves the hole, which we have most of the stuff in the hole, right? Oh, it takes the top with it. Okay. Uh, don't want that then. So 
Let's move it back to workshop. I did not realize that it would take the entire thing back. Uh, get that turret off of there. And then also give me my engine back. Okay, good to know that's how that works. Um, assembly. So we're missing a motor shield, an exhaust pipe, and another exhaust pipe. Okay. Motor shield, exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe. So this is a T3476, I believe. T3476. Is that what I clicked on? No, that's it. There it is. T3476. So we need engine. We need exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe, and motor shield. Check out. $1,744. So repairing is definitely uh, more advantageous to save money. Note to self. Okay, apparently I didn't get a motor shield. What the heck? What? What? T34 is 85. No. Okay. It's a T34 85. Dang it. Okay. Engine. One of these. One of these. Motor shield. Check out. Jeez, I can't believe we just I can't believe I just did that. Can't believe I bought the wrong parts. There we go. Got a dipstick. Okay, let's go get a dipstick quick. And uh engine dipstick. Check out at least that's 30 bucks. Still 32 bucks for a dipstick. Jeez. All right, engine 100%. Sweet, we can plug this thing back in. Oh, uh, next I'm gonna get working on this. Disassemble. How do I pull this part? So I take the barrel off first. Outer gun jacket. Protective sleeve, turret mantlet, gun breech. Looks like a pretty smooth sailing after that. If you are gone. Okay, there's a couple of viewers all around this. Antenna, I saw that and to purchase commander hatch, commander's cupola cover, cupola cover, air filters. Alright, so this is back down to no okay, I was gonna say nothing, but I've got some stuff in it. Okay, I think everything's gone now. So let's sand it down. Oh, I gotta get the rust off first. Hold on. Uh, rust removal. Okay, so. I think that this, I think the grinder that wheel here acts as both a, like a sand remover. Never mind. It does not act as both a sand remover and a rust remover. Uh, toss that. Grab our rust remover tool. Oh yeah, rust has got me need to sand it now. Okay, okay, I see, I see. And there we go. Now the hole is done. The turret, turret primer. So we need to throw some primer on this bad boy, which means probably move it back to the tank. And now, moving back to the tank. Now I think we're ready to take this entire tank and paint it. So move tank to paint room. Jeez, what am I doing? Okay. Close these doors. Oh, okay. So now 
we can do decals and then paint on the left here so i'm thinking we just i think i'm gonna just paint this so this was a t34 ak 750 could go russian brown so these are all just decals and stuff uh okay how do i paint So if we were going to do like an AK-750 protective green. How do I apply? Apply. This is not working. I need a primer on. Hmm. I am not sure how to apply primer guys hmm all right well i'm gonna go figure out how to apply primer um and then i'll show you guys that in the next episode uh we got this thing torn down almost ready to go pretty close we got a ton of stuff pulled out let me actually select the rest of the parts you need to repair three thousand okay so hopefully we'll be making back uh most of our money on this but we got this thing all ready almost almost ready to go oh get that gunner seat out of there oh wait can i disassemble it in here oh, i can't i gotta take the top off all right well i'm gonna finish doing a bunch of some stuff here and then i'll meet you guys back here in the next video with a semi put together tank with maybe some paint on it i'll figure that out and show you guys when i figure it out um but thank you guys for watching if you guys are enjoying the tank mechanic simulator uh series so far leave a like and a comment down below letting me know that you guys like it because it's pretty fun so far um, and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tank mechanic simulator video